Hello YouTube and hello Patreon. I will make this available on both platforms because today I have a collective conscience reading. I have not done this with tarot in a while. I, I want to say it's almost been a year, which is crazy. Um, but I'm here today, of course, in true form, in my pajamas, sun shining on my very clean, very hydrated face, keeping it real as always. Because that's what you get from this platform. That's what you get from me. You get the real thing. So let's get into it. I'm coming at you from the Affirmations Tarot. I want to say this is authored by, let me make sure I have the, the title right authored by oh it is not saying who it's authored by on the box well it's the affirmations tarot this is what the box looks like very gorgeous I actually found this at a bookstore not even there looking for tarot it just kind of caught me <laughs> And I felt immediately drawn to it. And this is my deck that I have especially de dedicated to clients and everyone on the outside of myself. Everyone who is not me. So, I wanted to deliver you a fresh new reading today. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the collective reading. This is all of it together. I want to start here. Okay, so a lot of us are stepping into a new way of thinking. The wands often represent ideas, thoughts, intentions. So seeing this unicorn, which I love the artwork on this card, it kind of makes me pick up a sense of, you know, we're wanting to step into our own authenticity, into the things that make us unique. We want to come back into ourselves. Some of us along the way of being so heavy on survival mode, especially coming out of a pandemic and then getting back to work, getting back into that momentum, that spinning, grinding moment momentum of work and social life and everything. Some of us feel like we need to rein it in, lasso that down and maybe come back into ourselves. I can tell we are all feeling that way right now. Then we've got more wands. We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse, and we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Now let's get into it. I was so excited to break this down today. So we've got this Ten of Wands. I'm gonna flip this up right just so you can see the imagery. Ever heard of the phrase, the straw that broke the camel's back? Often we take on many burdens, and sometimes there's just that one that's too many, but we're getting a call today to kind of release some of those excess burdens. You don't always have to be taking your 12 steps. You don't always have to be pushing forward. You don't always have to be forcing an outcome. Now, don't get me wrong. Work ethic is honorable and it is being recognized at this time. However, this is your sign in case you've been wondering, have all that I've been done, I've been doing, <laughs> excuse me, is it all coming together is it all being seen is it worth it is there any more i need to do this is your sign today that you have done all that you can do it is time to rest do not put one more branch on that back you have done all that you can do and you can trust you can lean into the unknown you do not have to reinvent the wheel we see the page of wands we've got this tap dancing showman we've got this performing insect here and, you know, a lot of us live our lives this way. You know, we feel like a show monkey, if you will. We put on a smiling face. We try to please everyone and keep them happy, keep them satisfied. We do this to our lovers. We do this to our friends. But we rarely are able to do this to ourselves. And then when we aren't able to do this to ourselves, what do we do? We criticize ourselves and we beat ourselves up for being ungrateful, for being unsatisfied, because it feels like a problem we can't, so we can't solve excuse me it's all coming to me so fast pardon my speech but this is your sign today to kind of relinquish control of that and take your foot off the gas sometimes we have to sit and we have to restore and we have to rest i hope that's making sense i hope that's resonating and if it's not of course you can leave it as it is you definitely don't have to pick up and take with you anything that doesn't serve you as you can see, I'm throwing a remote control out of the picture. Sometimes we need to actually do that in our lives, throw the remote control right out of the picture. Then we have three of wands upright. We have ace of pentacles, six of cups. 
which actually I pulled six of cups before pulling these. So I pulled this one, this one, and then this one. Then we've got our page of cups upright in the lovers. Let's get into it. Second half of our reading. So here with the Ace of Pentacles, I do see that we're stepping into a chapter where we are able to kind of restore our heart and restore our needs and give ourselves a sense of nourishment and comfort and revival. I also see that the things we need are coming to us and everything that we need, everything that we've been seeking is already within us. Basically meaning you already possess all that you require in order to be capable, in order to be worthy, and in order to be competent in this new chapter that you're stepping into. So rest assured and know that you are more than prepared. Also, what is yours will not miss you. And for some of you that are dealing with matters of the heart right now, this is me coming to say to you, you will be healed. All your concerns have been heard by the divine and justice is on its way to you. You have not been overlooked. You are seen, you are heard, and you are not alone. Please lie back, relax, nourish thyself, and allow yourself to heal because the richness is already existing within you. It is just on its way to manifest. Look how this, I believe it's an alligator. I'm not quite sure. Relaxing, laid back among the fields of flowers, reaping in the blessings and wealth that were honestly already there, truly already within them. All that you need is already within you. It's kind of hard to see that when we're hurting, I know. But all will be restored. Your cups will be filled. Sometimes it's nice to lay back. You might want to communicate with um, some very good friends. Those of you who have an amazing support system, definitely reconnect. Sometimes that means reconnecting to ourselves, taking time to journal, taking time to rest. This is not escapism, but coming to yourself head on, not walking away from an issue. And Six of Cups often represents nostalgia, friendships, fellowships, you know, making sure you fill your cup before you just pour out into everyone else. But at the same time, having an exchange of energy. Think about who you spend your time with. Think about who you cater to. Are you always pouring into other, everyone else's cup and then not so much into yours? Who are your role models? Who do you think you relate to and who do you don't? Then we have the Three of Wands, which is always about expansion. It's so great that we have the Eight of Wands here. And then on the other half of the reading, we have the Three of Wands, this tall, mighty giraffe holding up the wands and looking on into a rainbow. I think about the rainbow. I think about covenants. I think about promises. I think about love. I think about prosperity. And I think about inclusion. You will not be left out of this victory. I see that after all the rain, after working hard and all, having all the weights on your back, there will be an outcome. There will be a light at the end of this tunnel, a rainbow before, not before, but after the storm. Some of us are actually experiencing storms around the U.S. right now. So how fortunate that this reading came to you exactly right now. Last but not least, we want to conclude this reading with the Page of Cups and the Lovers. When I see the Page of Cups and I see this imagery, I think about someone who, down in the depths of their soul, they're truly a creative person with many ideas. They're an artist in their own right. They're able to create the ideals, the beliefs, and the life that they truly desire. This is a very creative card. When I see the Page of Cups in this deck, I always think about someone who has the ability to manifest everything they could ever want and dream of. I also think of someone who's able to rewrite their script, including someone who's able to clean the slate clean so if you've been looking for a sign to say can i be forgiven can i be redeemed is there a way for me to restart yes the answer is yes before i leave you today final thoughts on the lovers this could mean a wealth of things for many many people there may be conflicts in relationships and friendships or you may be dealing with an inner conflict this is my call to you to take a step back lean into forgiveness and know that you are more than love because the love in your life already exists within yourself best wishes best of luck and destiny to you all i do not want to spend more time in this reading and i do not want to cause further confusion Thank you for all being here and thank you for supporting this channel and special shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Bless.